Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little studio vlog where I basically just recap everything I've done kind of creatively wise, that's a word, in the last week or so. It's a bit of a jumbled up week because I'm going to actually start off this video by showing you some footage from a couple of Saturdays ago. I went and did a workshop with Peacocks Digital, uh, or Digi Peacocks, I forget the full name, but Peacocks is what they're usually called in Aberdeen. Uh, they're hosting a risograph printing workshop. I've never used risograph before, so it was very exciting. You can see the bottom of the print there. So I went to this workshop not really having done any illustration for uh, a while because I've been on placement. I've not really had time to do my own illustrations. Something that I, I, I tend to do quite a lot is uh, not do illustrating. <laughs> so I kind of used this time uh, to design something new. For lucid thoughts. I had this idea in my head before I'd seen something like on Pinterest and I thought it would translate really well with risograph seeing as we were only doing a two colour print. Now how risograph printing works it's kind of like screen printing in the fact that you think about all your your colours as layers or separate uh, separations and it's kind of like screen printing but using a photocopier machine almost. It looks similar but the way that it works is very cool, but it's very hard for me to explain. So I probably won't do it justice. But basically I came up with this idea. I really liked how it went and uh, yeah, I think it could be a really cool design. So I really liked the idea and I did a couple of prints in different colors, but I decided that I wanted to do a couple of prints of my other design, the Skelly Rose Hand, uh, a design that I absolutely love and I think is very popular for Lucy Thoughts at the moment. So it translated really well as a risograph print, I think, um, very nicely printed out um, with just two colours. I would be interested in going back and trying out more prints, so hopefully it's something I'll try and do more of this summer. Uh, just with times, hopefully I will have the time to, to, to do some more risograph printing. But I think it was an absolutely worthwhile workshop. The guys at Peacocks are just so talented and so informative, they're really helpful and encouraging. So if you go in you might see my prints there because they kept a couple of copies of mine um, just so they can use it as an example as to what you can do with their service, which I think is amazing. Um, but yes, this vlog is very much lucid thoughts based because that's pretty much all I've been working on <laughs> this past week is the Lucid Thoughts apparel brand and um, growing it because I launched the website and, and the documentary and if you've not watched the documentary you should really give the documentary a watch because it explains um, the company a lot better than how I could ever do it <laughs> in a normal vlog. But since that documentary was launched I've had so many people come up to me or go online onto the shop and order um, hoodies or t-shirts or anything. It's, it's amazing. Um, so I've actually been packaging up orders for the first time um, because before really all my orders were people that I knew from work or from uni or college they were just buying them in person so it was easy enough to just to give them the garment and then give me the cash so now I'm actually dealing with online payment and PayPal and we're not going to talk about PayPal at the moment because I've had such a drama with PayPal lately let's not <laughs> um, but yeah it's been interesting thinking about my product in that sense um, it's still very small, low-key packaging because the people who have been ordering have actually been people I can deliver to, so it's fine. I've either just dropped it off at uni or dropped it off at my work and they've gone and picked it up. Like, it's all very easy packaging at the moment. There's nothing that's had to be shipped yet, which I am worried about when something actually needs shipped. I'm like, ah, oh, how am I going to do that? But it'll be fine. And then the majority of my week, um, as well as packaging up orders, was obviously printing orders. Everything I make is made to order, so if somebody places an order, I then have to order, say, the hoodie, and then I wait for it to arrive, and then I print it. I'm on the floor because I'm about to do some screen printing. Um, I ordered a hoodie in so that I could print a hoodie for somebody, so that's what this is. Cool, yep, black, medium, very good, very exciting. This is really an exciting part of Lucid Thoughts for me is the fact that people that don't really know me that well are now buying t-shirts and hoodies off of the website. Um, which is just rewarding in itself because it means that it's actually starting to pay off. So there we go. 
nice plain black hoodie we're gonna do uh, the skeleton rose hand print on the back this guy has ordered a hoodie uh, a black t-shirt and a white t-shirt all with the same design so that makes it really easy for me to print all of them in one go it's kind of cool though because that means he can pick and choose um, what color and what he wants to wear on the day and also he'll have three copies to be able to look and see the differences and they're all going to be different in themselves which I think is really cool as well so it's really nice um, I'm very very grateful that he's a place in an order with me so very happy so yeah doing this order printing it all up hopefully get it done today um, I'll definitely get the two black versions done um, like on the black fabrics but depending on timings and uh, rinsing out the screen and drying the screen if I'll get the black on the white printed or not we'll see but um, I've got two hours before you pick up Mark from work um, so hopefully I'll get a fair bit done hopefully <laughs> A lot of this vlog is mostly me just screen printing and trying out things. One thing that I found really difficult is the fact that um, for my two-toned screen printing of the rose and the hand, it, it takes me quite a while to do that t-shirt or that hoodie because of the fact that it's you gotta print the the red and then you gotta like cover the screen and then print the white like it's just it's just a bit of a complicated process and like I would like to simplify it somehow but I just haven't yet so I have printed a t-shirt and a hoodie this design on a hoodie looks so sick I think um I did print three t-shirts but I didn't get around to printing the hand on this one I've just run out of time completely so I've got the t-shirt and the hoodie from uh, that guy's order printed and there was um, a blob of ink on the front of the screen because I put my screen down on a blob of ink so when I put it down on the t-shirt I'm not sure it's fine it's part of like I always I want to promote the idea of like mistakes are part of it mistakes are meant to be made and like let's not be wasteful like let's celebrate the fact that I fuck up a lot and like it's a very hard thing to celebrate like not being perfect and it's it kind of goes against that idea of a designer doesn't it like they want everything to be perfect and precise but I kind of want I kind of want to go against that um and it's still very hard for me to accept like I'm just like ugh. but a lot of me like a lot of my customers say to me like I love the fact that they're fucked up and that they're different it makes it so unique and interesting and like if people look at it they're gonna go well that's different so I need to like I, I want to I just every time I do it I'm like fuck sakes but I'm like ah eh, well it's, it's part of it so it's an interesting concept to whack my head around but I like it in other news, in case you're wondering why my hair's up, because I've not had my hair up in forever, check this out. I got my undercut redone. I really hope that was in shot. I wasn't... I won't know. <laughs> um, so I've been actually working with Hard Grind lately. Um, if you haven't been following me on... In uh, if you haven't been following me on my Instagram, at Katie Studio, um, I've been working with Hard Grind, Aberdeen, which is amazing for me. I don't know if any of you really know my history with Abandoned Ship and Hard Grind, but I followed both brands for ages. So back in February then, the Aberdeen Hard Grind team posted on their Instagram story they were looking for a photographer, videographer, graphic designer thing <laughs> to work with on a creative project. So I messaged them back being like, yo, I am all of these things, I am so down, what is it? Um, and they asked me to be part of their creative shoot. Every year they do a creative shoot and this year they just kind of want to focus on, focus on the hair, like really focus on the haircuts because last year it was a bit of a stramash and they didn't really know what was going on. So this year they want to be a bit more planned out and organised. So very difficult with my schedule as it was and it did become a bit too much all at once because I was working two part-time jobs, my placement and I had like one day off a week which was a Saturday and in that day off I'd either be sleeping because I was working the night before or I'd be like running around to get other stuff done so it was really hard to find the time to work with hard grind um, but we managed we managed uh, near the end of my placement I managed to find time to to go in on a Saturday and take photos and play about with the studio they have and take photos in their shop 
Um, you should really check out my Instagram, their Instagram, and the general hard grind Instagram page. There's links to all of them in the description because my photos are dotted about over all of those. It's really nice getting to work with these guys because, like I said, I've followed the brand for years and I'm so excited to be working with such cool guys because when you have such a connection to their brand and their brand values, it just makes sense for you to be working with someone like that and building up your portfolio with stuff you like. So if I can give you any advice, any creatives out there that are wanting to work with like their dream brand, because like that was one of my dream brands to work with, like 100% hard grind. Yes, I wanted to work with them in third year and I just didn't do it, but I've done it now. <laughs> if you're wanting to work with like somebody you admire so much, just be so open to any opportunity that they might hand out or even contact them and just say to them like, look, I've... I've been doing this, this and this and I would love to work with you in some way like it happens it does genuinely and it's so weird when it does but oh my god I'm so happy that it did um yeah it's a bewildering experience knowing that um I've had a really positive first couple of months of this year and the fact that I've gotten a placement and gotten a job from it and then I've managed to work with my dream brand and f continuing on from that will hopefully continue to work with hard grind on further shoots whether that just be me going in the shop on a Saturday and taking some photos of some snaps, some snaps, some cuts, <laughs> you know what I meant. Um, you know, it's just it's just keeping those connections as well, showing yourself as um, not like an entrepreneur, but like someone who's very interested and keen. Like if you show people that, then it definitely pays off, I think, because that's all I've been doing. And it's amazing. The guys there are just the best. I love them to pieces. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, hard grind, for giving me that opportunity. It's meant the world for me. <sighs> um, yeah, and in other news, more personal news, I'm moving. Um, my brother is moving to Aberdeen, so we're going to get a flat together, which means I am on the flat hunt. I have seen a couple of few flats that I really like, um, and I'm in the process of trying to get further with, but it's really hard for agencies to get back to you. <laughs> so I'm I'm kind of like all up in the air trying to get stuff sorted. Um, so yeah, that, that might be quite fun. Um, a change of scenery seeing as I've been in this flat for three years, I think, nearly three years, it's two and a half. Oh, and my PayPal got hacked. That's why I was so stressed <laughs> about PayPal, but that's okay. It's not my business PayPal. It was just my personal PayPal. That's still fucking scary. So yeah. Um, that's that's the update. That's that's the tea. Uh, there's a lot going on, a lot of lucid thought stuff. Um, I got LinkedIn. So if you guys are on LinkedIn or want a LinkedIn, I'll leave my my link in the description. Um, it's fun. It's very different. It's weird. So yeah, cool. Okay, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.